name is Warren Cartwright, and I'm the Director of Product Management for Software Support and Services here at Sierra Wireless. In today's session, we're going to look at using the alerting capability to allow users to get notifications when devices aren't communicating back with the platform as expected. So I'm just going to log into my ALMS account here. And what we're going to do is just look at the alerting capability on the system. So if we have a fleet of gateways that are out in the field, I want to be notified when any of them stop communicating on the regular pattern that I have set them for. So in my case, let's look at my Vancouver device. Under configure communications, I have it set to check in every 15 minutes on the heartbeat and to go into a warning state 10 minutes after that and a further 15 minutes after that to move it into an error state. And what we're going to do is just have a look at how we would create an alert. So the place that we do that is under the configure section and you can see that I have an alert rule area. Clicking on that is going to take me in and I can see the list of different alert rules that you could create. The one we're going to look at is the gateways not communicating and I'm just going to put it into edit mode so that we can see the rules that were used to create this particular alert. There are a series of templates that you can choose. So in this case, I've actually used the communication status changes. I have given it a name, gateways not communicating. And so the rule is quite simple. It's if the communication status is in this case, the error state. I could add a condition if I only wanted to do it on a group of devices, let's say I mobile devices, or you know, even if I wanted to get very specific, I could select only that Vancouver RV50 system. If I don't want that particular condition, very easy to remove it. The default is to send email alerts. There's a little email you can configure as you want to. And then there are also a set of actions you could apply a particular label. If you wanted to change the settings or even send commands to the device, you could do those things as well. I'm just going to cancel out because I didn't actually make any changes to those alert rules. And if I go back to my monitor systems, I can actually see that I have a, a number of devices that have been offline for a period of time. And if I click on that alert rule, it'll take me into that device and I can actually see that you know, I've lost communication with that device and it is that particular alert rule causing that alert state to be active on that particular gateway.